Just before 8.30 on your Thursday morning, good morning, I'm Katie Morse with Edge Ranch. We're following breaking news out of Lockport where we've learned a woman has died in a house fire there. In fact, we just sent you a push alert about this on our WKBW app. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Twilan Nugent is live for us on High Street. And Twilan, I know you just spoke with the woman's ex-husband. Tell us what he said. Yeah, so he's telling us that this is an ongoing investigation, which police will confirm this morning. You can tell by all of the city of Lockport police still here on scene. Now, the woman's ex-husband, he says she was a 55-year-old female. It was his ex-wife. She had a domestic incident with her boyfriend the night before. His daughter and his son also live in this house. This is information you're hearing only on 7 Eyewitness News this morning. She called police after that incident last night, and then there was a lapse of about four hours before she called 911 again after she smelled smoke in the home. Now, police don't say that this is fire is directly correlated to the fatality, but they do confirm there was a fire and also a fatality. We do know that she had a very volatile relationship with her boyfriend, and that is what he believes happened here was something criminal. But again, police have not been able to confirm that with us. They say it's too early in this investigation to say anything else at this point other than there was a fatality. This morning, I'm live in Lockport, Tweelon Nugent, 7 Eyewitness News.